good Tuesday morning private practice success community. I hope you guys are having a fabulous Tuesday morning. So I will tell you a bit about my morning whilst I share this live stream in my Facebook groups because today's uh, vlog is a very interesting and I might say controversial that was not just clickbait that it is actually controversial subject um, and topic of discussion within our industry at the moment so I want to talk to you guys a little bit about that today so let me just share this I've done the first group let's do the second group is where are we my master graduate group there we go post two more groups hey Trudy how are you doing how is things in Melbourne I'm sure busy as always I see you guys are recruiting at the moment so if you are a speech pathologist in Melbourne and you want to join a very dynamic um, practice that helps a lot of kitties, uh, then you need to reach out to Trudy De Silva Speech Pathology in Melbourne and have a look at uh, their website and apply for a job there. Definitely, highly recommend the team over there. All right, so one more group as I try to multitask here. There we go. I think I've done all the groups. Awesome. So, um, as people join us, um, please say hi, say hello. Trudy, I can see that you're here. So, welcome to the 90 Day Vlog Challenge. And today is vlog number 74. Really getting close now to number 90. And as I sat down here and I set up my, my little stand and things to do this live vlog, I thought to myself, girl, you need to choose your words really wisely this morning. Um, and maybe you need to talk a bit slower than normal. Because the thing is, when I do these vlogs, I actually have no notes, okay? I don't have anything written uh, around me anywhere. I've got my laptop open basically just with the Facebook page because sometimes it's just easier to see comments on here than to see it on the phone. The phone only allows like three lines of comments and then you can't read the rest um, if somebody has a long comment that they wanna post. So I've got no notes. Um, everything I say when I'm doing these live vlogs just comes off the top of my head and comes from the heart and it's normally a combination of the two and it's just the download of my thinking based on my knowledge my skills and my experience in being a clinical psychologist over the last I don't know how many years and having run a private practice um, for more than 10 years now so um, unless you've been living under a rock somewhere and you are a psychologist um, and probably OTs and speech pathologists will be aware of this as well there's been a lot of um, talk um, you know uh, via email social media all these various communication forms of you know industry um, around uh, the two-tier Medicare system for psychologists so uh, because this is on my public Facebook page and I know 99% of people that watch these is um, allied health providers but for in case there's just one member of the public watching uh, please know this doesn't apply to you guys as clients of psychologists this only applies to us as providers that's relevant to us this discussion um, so there's been a lot of talk especially in Facebook groups and that type of stuff around this two-tier system for seeing a psychologist and um, I have been very mindful um, you know since I started my Facebook community not to discuss this issue in there at all because I really wanted to keep my Facebook community free of all that political stuff surrounding our industry and I'll tell you in a bit why uh, what I and, and you know you might be wondering why am I talking about it now and, and it will all be revealed soon 
um, you know, I can tell you not a day goes by without me either getting an email or a Facebook message or a phone call from somebody and even a WhatsApp and all that types. It doesn't matter where I'm on, what platform I'm, I'm messaged and I, I encourage people to message me, but people specifically messaging me on this topic, either going, Gerda, I would really love to know what your opinion on this is. Um, or Gerda, um, would you be okay if I post this link to the survey for people to complete in the group around this issue? Or Gerda, would it be okay if I post this link in the group um, to this website because I really feel that everybody needs to be aware of A, B, and C and all this kind of stuff and requests. And I've just been saying no, 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 because I don't want to divide my amazing uh, community of private practice success owners. And as we all know, whether it's just general politics, um, you know, something that becomes political can be extremely divisive. And that is not what I want for my amazing community. And therefore I've been really very protective of my community, of my Facebook groups in terms of going, I don't want that stuff infiltrating what we do and the amazing support and connection that is there and that I've seen develop over the last couple of months. But I'm commenting on it today and as, as soon as I finish this, this live stream, I will be switching comments off within my Facebook groups on this live stream. Okay, because I don't want people to even comment on it. Um, if you are in my Facebook groups and you really feel compelled to um, download a message and send it to me, then by all means, private message me, email me, and I'll be happy to engage in a conversation with you around this issue. Hey, Brooklyn, thanks for joining. So, um, Brooklyn, you've, you've really missed like the setup stuff stage of this conversation, so you'll have to go and watch that again. So what it is that I'm going to say is not whether I'm for or against it. I'm not going to say what my opinion on it is either way. Um, you know, and, and before I go further into that, you know, a lot of people have actually asked me, um, Gerda, why don't you do something about this issue? And I'll come back to that again. So I'm not going to share whether I'm for or, or against it um, because it really doesn't matter to me it doesn't matter to me and i'm going to take you back to something that i shared a couple of vlogs ago and i can't remember which vlog it was i've done 43 today's numbers no 73 today's number 74 i can't keep track but i did do a vlog where i spoke about uh stephen covey's book the habit seven habits of highly successful people and i spoke about the circles of control Okay, we're in the middle circle, that's where you have full control, that's the green zone, and then we go further out, that's the yellow zone, where you've got just some influence, and then the red zone, you have no control. And the way I look at this whole issue is, this is not in my green zone, okay? And I'm a doer and an action taker, and there's not a lot that I can do about it. Like people has asked me, Gerda, why don't you stand for the, the APS board so you can do something about this? Or Gerda, why don't you, you know, advocate for this, um, that type of stuff? And you know why I don't, and why I keep on saying no, is, well, the, the honest answer is, I would be bored stiff if I had to do stuff like that. I hate bureaucracy, I hate red tape, there are, fabulous, wonderful people that love that type of stuff and that would give up anything to pursue that. That's their passion. It's not mine, okay? So I don't get involved with that type of stuff at all. I will support people that are really passionate and if I believe in their passion and in their vision, I will support them, but I'm not gonna do it because I would be bored out of my skull. I'll probably be badly behaved because I'll just speak what I think unfiltered which they won't like and it won't have a good outcome <laughs> so I didn't do that type of stuff um, so coming again back to our zones this topic is not in my green zone okay it might to some extent be in the yellow zone where you can influence stuff around it you know and you can think around what that that stuff is that you could do 
or it's potentially even in your red zone and for me I've just moved that topic out to my red zone and said there are people out there who's really passionate about it let them pursue it what I'm gonna do what's best for me what's best for my team of clinicians what's best for my admin staff and what's best for my client is for me to focus on my private practice but I'm gonna focus on it in a way that my practice, my business, and what I do is not gonna be dependent on what happens in that other zone. It's not gonna be dependent on that Medicare rebate, irrespective of what that rebate is, okay? And that's what I would encourage you to do. It takes so much effort, you know, that doesn't matter what camp you're in, whether you're the for or against camp, it takes so much effort to complain and whinge and whine and just talk about that topic the whole time. And I know you're gonna be triggered by the fact that I'm saying that, and that's okay, all right? Again, I'm saying it like it is. You're gonna be triggered by, by these comments because that's how I look at it. It's not productive and it's not helpful. If you wanna be productive and helpful, don't complain about it go and do something about it. Be that person that's gonna go, I commit to making a change in our industry and I'm gonna pursue that fully. That's not me, by the way, okay? But if that's you, then go and do that. What I instead prefer to do is I choose to ensure, oh, low battery, that's a bugger. I instead choose to ensure that I'm gonna ensure that irrespective of what happens out there in the yellow and red zone, irrespective of whether tomorrow there's a Medicare rebate or not, whether it doesn't matter what that amount of that rebate is, doesn't matter how many sessions people get, that I will still have a private practice and that I will still have a team that can see clients and help them deal with their mental health issues. That for me is my priority. Okay, I don't like um, being under the control of the decisions that the government makes. Yes, I will always be um, observing in terms of what's going on there, um, thinking ahead very strategically. And I'm doing that now already. So for me, a big goal in the practice is to ensure that the practice is independent of Medicare. So, uh, you know, I've, I'm fully supportive of, of as much money for, for the community in terms of rebates for as many sessions as possible. I strongly believe that the more people get access through funding to see a psychologist, the better. We're gonna um, alleviate so many other problems, social, economical, physical issues that people have in their lives if they look after their mental health first. But that's a completely different discussion. But I'm gonna make sure, my goal is to ensure that I have multiple referral streams coming into my practice. That is the answer, okay? You don't want to only work with Medicare, Medicare clients, if you wanna, Put it that way you need to think what other streams of, uh, of referrals is coming into my private practice so that if medicare ceases to exist i still have work coming in i still have business coming in so you know another thing that i would encourage you guys to do is ensure that you are charging a, a full fee full fee whatever that full fee is for your practice to your clients okay because let's imagine worst case scenario happens which i highly doubt is going to happen by the way i'm not one of those people that's lying awake at night worrying about the medicare rebate and when medicare is going to cease to exist and all that type of stuff i don't lose any sleep over it okay but let's say worst case scenario um no more medicare for clients when they're coming for sessions Think about this, if I, I have a practice where clients are, let's say paying $150, they get $84 back when they come and see their psychologist, and Medicare says no, no more rebates for psychologists, my clients would already be in a habit and in a routine of taking responsibility for their mental health by contributing to it by paying $150 upfront and getting $84 Medicare rebate. Okay, so they, they in that routine. Um, if when you have the conversation with them, that conversation is going to be about the fact that the government has taken Medicare rebates away. It wasn't you, the clinician, that has done anything wrong. The client doesn't didn't do anything wrong. That's a, like a political governmental decision. 
would be the wrong one if you ask me, but remember we're going worst case scenario. And I can guarantee you, okay? Uh, okay, I can't put that guarantee in writing, but I am like fairly confident, not fairly, like a 99.9% .9 confident that that client is gonna be annoyed um, at the government, not at you, but they're gonna continue sessions because you would have already shown value for them and they would have been getting results and outcome and they will continue paying. However, if you had a bulk bill client, it's gonna be a completely different situation, okay? Because what happens there if a client's been seeing you, you know, and again, I take my hat off to clinicians that bulk bill and that are able to run their practice like that. This is not a judgment. I'm saying this for your best interest long-term. If, if clients have been coming in and bulk billing and you know, you've, you've been doing that, you know, because you've got the sense of social justice, wanting to help people, all that type of stuff, and then all of a sudden the Medicare rebate goes and you need to have that conversation with that client, you know, yes, you're going to say the government took it away but from the client's perspective it's going to be you've always seen me for free and now I need to start paying it's going to be a much harder shift to achieve for your client to continue getting the treatment that they deserve okay with you yes you can refer them out to Kim's or adult mental health um, you know which means that all those public mental health services are going to be completely overrun Okay, which is why I highly doubt the government can even afford to take uh, Medicare rebates away for psychologists, but that's what's gonna happen. And the likelihood of Medicare vanishing and you not having a practice increases in my opinion, okay? In my opinion. So what I, I would encourage you to be charging an out-of-pocket fee, even if it's $10 or $20 for your clients, uh, because that's gonna help very, a lot. And I would also encourage you then to ensure that you have multiple referral streams coming into your private practice. Just checking here, Paul. I don't have any comments. I must, please tell me I'm not preaching again. <laughs> okay. I hope that makes sense. So if I had to summarize this vlog, my summary would be, Get yourself in a position where you do not have to lose sleep over Medicare about this two-tier system or what's happening. Ensure that you make a mindful decision about, um, Brooklyn says it's really helpful advice, awesome look Brooklyn. Number two, ensure that you make a mindful decision about where you're gonna invest your emotional energy, your time and your resources. Okay, and rather than getting sucked into this whole conversation, go, how do I bulletproof, so to speak, my practice for worst case scenario? Okay, let's focus on my practice because when you focus on your practice, you are doing what's right for you, for all your clients to ensure that you can continue to exist and service them and help them should worst case happen and we don't have Medicare rebates. It ensures that your admin team and your clinician team have jobs to come to should worst case scenario happen and Medicare ceases to exist. Okay, if you feel really passionate about this whole issue, then you know take it up and go and do something about it, something productive and something resourceful. So that is my advice on this issue. Hey, Jessica, thanks for joining up just at the end. You're gonna to have to listen to the recording. Um, hopefully this was an interesting and helpful discussion. Um, this is the first time I'm gonna speak about this um, issue live and it is, I'm thinking, gonna be the last time. I really just wanted to give my little bit of input on this topic because people have been reaching out and asking but please if, if you've only just joined go and have a listen to the whole recording all right everybody thank you so much for listening for being part of this vlog remember as always all you need to do is say yes to having building creating and enjoying your very own ultimate level five private practice and i'll speak to you all again tomorrow bye for now